Hey Dad, what's the difference between a grafted fruit tree and a seedling fruit tree? Really great question, Karen. And a lot of people don't know this because there's benefits between the two. But the major benefit is really with a grafted tree. And I've got a seedling tree here. This one's an avocado. I'll put this to the side and we'll talk about this more in a second. Come down to the graft here. And first we'll discuss what is a graft. So a graft actually is where you've got a seedling. So they raise a certain type of seedling, a root stock, which has a very good root system, doesn't get a lot of disease and things, and will produce a big abundant root system. Now, what happens is, is they get parent material from another tree, so a mature tree that's already got fruit on it, it's already been budding, and they collect it at a certain time of year, and they graft it onto the cambium layer, where the sap is coming up and down, and they join it, wrap it around with some tape, there's a few different ways of doing it, and make sure that it bonds. And once it bonds, the sap flow is going up and down, and the tree becomes one. Now what happens is, is the tree believes then, in the top part, that it's still a mature tree, and starts producing fruit and it connects to this bottom one here and grows into a great big productive tree. And what happens is, is we end up getting fruit much faster. So with a seedling tree, like we've got here with this avocado here, now this is about a year old, just growing in a pot, I haven't been taking great care of it, but it'll probably go into my verge later on or into another pot can take up to seven years to produce fruit. And it may not even produce fruit exactly like its parent. Now, the parent on this one, where it's being cut and then put onto this rootstock down below, we know it's gonna be exactly the same as the material that came off the other tree. So we know we're gonna grow that type of tree. And you can actually graft many more different types of trees onto one rootstock, believe it or not. Some people have three different types of citrus coming off something like this. Now, this is a mandarin. I think this is called an emperor, something along those lines. Great little tree. Now, what happens is, is the rootstock that I was talking about before, if it's growing really, really well, now this is a bit of a secret trick, tip, tr <laughs> secret trick to do here. Got a bit tongue-dyed there for a second. What I do, is you can see there's a couple of branches coming off here. See there's three branches? Well, what I did was I actually kept one central leader and I took a lot of the branches off and then I let the root system just get really, really big and then I let the tree grow again. So generally what I do is I only leave, so you got like a vase shape and I cut all these off and let the tree settle into a big root system for about a year and then I let it grow after that. So I actually hold the tree back to grow more roots than sort of leafy material and stuff above. Now what happens is when we're growing these trees, the first year, even the second year, we need to take the fruit off. Now, this tree did really, really well. So the first year we didn't take any of the fruit. We took the fruit off and the flowers and the second year we let it go and we got a great little harvest of it, which is inside. So. That's basically the difference between a grafted tree and this type of tree. And this type of tree is really good like in a permaculture forest or something like that, it'll take about seven years. We may plant it up the side there where we've got some little bit of a permaculture forest thing going. We'll see or keep it in a pot for a while. Look, it's got another six years before it'll even produce anything. And sometimes the fruit, the trees don't even produce any fruit at all. I've got a friend at home, well not at home, over the other town and he's much older than me and he's got a, oh it's about a eight foot avocado tree that grew from seed and compost and it's just full of fruit. Just absolutely amazing. So anyway look if you've got any questions about the difference between these trees, maybe you've got something you'd like to add in the comments box down below for the viewers and everyone who goes in to read it. Love to answer the questions. Karen, have you got any questions before you go? Nope. No questions at all about grafted trees? Nope, no questions. Should we leave it for the viewers? Yes. All right, we're going to say bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Why do I have to say it? You have to say goodbye to yourself. Goodbye, Karen. Say goodbye to myself, Karen. Flexy <laughs> hands coming in. Ready? One, two, three. Shh. Bye for now. <laughs>